welcome to The Rich Tradition. I'm Elizabeth Luard, and for the past 25 years, I have lived and brought up four children in surroundings just like these, rural and isolated, among people whose lives are dictated by such old-fashioned concepts as landscape, raw materials, and traditional trade routes. The peasant tradition is above all transmitted orally and sensually. How do you translate into an instruction manual the smell of the breeze or the feel of the earth? or the changing moods of the moon. Learning at mother's knee, acquiring the principles of good husbandry at first hand is what peasant life is all about. An apprenticeship in taking care of your own backyard. The only way to survive if your environment is your livelihood and your way of life, not a business for profit. If we lend an ear however belatedly, to those whose way of life is the care of their own small patch, we might find some way of paying the massive environmental bills which are now landing on our doorsteps. A country wife knows whether the wild fungi she gathers in her woods have been affected by acid rain and will make sure her patch of sloes and wild berries are not over-harvested or harmed by the plucking. The inshore fishermen who live through the four seasons overlooking their own fishing grounds can tell us more about the subtle changes in fish stocks, the variations in seabird populations than any pelagic factory ship or government funded scientific study. A peasant farmer can tell you more about the behavior of a certain field which has been cropped by his family for generations than any soil analyst. He will still harvest his own olive tree and tend his particular patch of vines by hand, keeping an eye on the health of their leaves and the strength of their roots. The changing seasons bring different tasks, plowing, planting and harvest. The opening in the spring of the ice-bound northern fish ports. The great celebrations of the church, which echo the feasts of pre-Christian times. The smaller domestic celebrations of birth and death. Over the next weeks, we are going to see the same pattern repeated all over Europe. The ingredients which make up the landscape will be different, but the principles which govern people's lives will be the same.